Good evening, y'all. We're going to make some chicken nut and rice in the oven. So what I have here is a 9 by 13 baking dish. And I have two tablespoons of olive oil at the bottom with one cup of uncooked rice. Okay, and we just mix that around with the two tablespoons of olive oil, okay? So what we're going to need is you can use a cream of mushroom, cream of chicken, cream of celery, um, cream of asparagus, cream of broccoli, whatever you like with your chicken. I'm going to use a cream of onion. Okay, so we're going to put our cream of onion soup in a bowl. Okay. Alright, so we got that in our bowl. And this is cream of onion. We're going to put two cups of either water or chicken broth. And I'm using chicken broth. So you want two cups of that in here. Right. Now we want two teaspoons of minced garlic that we're going to put in there. And we're going to go ahead and mix this together until everything is combined. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and put this to the side. And now this calls for six boneless, skinless um, chicken thighs. Um, I only have five that came in a little pack, so you can use six and it's not going to make any difference, okay? So we're going to go ahead and layer our chicken on top of our rice. Once you got your chicken laid over here, you're going to take your chicken broth with your cream of onion soup and we're going to go ahead and dump it in here. So you want to take some garlic powder and just sprinkle a little bit on top of your chicken. Okay. Then you're going to take a little onion powder and do the same thing. Okay. Then you're going to take a packet of onion soup mix and you're going to also put a little bit on top of your chicken. And all on the sides, so it flavors your rice. Okay. And then you just want to take a little bit of, I'm using smoked paprika, and put it over top of your chicken, a little on your broth. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to get this covered. Alright y'all, so I have this covered. So we're going to put this in 350 degrees for one hour. Then we're going to remove the cover. And we're going to cook it for another 5 to 10 minutes. And then you just want to let it sit out of the oven for about 10 minutes. Okay. Um, I want to let everybody know we have cookbooks available for purchase. I'll put a link above and below in the comments for those of you who want to purchase those. This is Volume 1. Volume 2 will be out shortly. So we're going to go ahead and get this in. I'll see you back here in an hour to take the cover off. And then we'll pop it back in for 10 more minutes. And then the chicken and rice will be all done. So we'll see you back here in an hour. All right, y'all, it's been in for one hour, so we're going to take off our foil, okay, and we're going to go ahead and put this back in there uncovered for 10 minutes. All right, y'all, so the chicken is all done, and you just want to get in there and fork up the rice to make it fluffy, and get yourself some rice. You can actually add some spinach in there if you want it to while it's cooking, or some broccoli, if you would like to do that as well. But this is what we're going to have for dinner with some green beans that are in my pot back there. So if anybody has any questions, feel free to reach out to us. And I hope everybody gives this a try and let us know how you like it.